Mister. Yes, sir. Fill her up. We're out of gas. The, uh, regular. Hey, uh, son, you got any dough? Yeah, I got... Let's see. 85 cents? 80 cents worth. Yes, sir. Huh? Come on, the dough, the gitas, the money. Never let it be said that Johnny Maverick took a guy's last nickel. That'll be exactly 80 cents. There you are, my good man. Come again. All right. I don't get it, mister. Huh? Well, I mean, this car and that hat and those clothes and my 80 cents. Son, you gotta have a front in the oil business. Confidentially, I'm flat. What's your name? Harold Nevins. Are you really an oil man? Tool dresser. The best. You interested in oil? Kinda. I'm pumping gas up in Chicopee. Chicopee? Heard of that field. It's not a field. Gas station. Chicopee Falls, Mass. Oh. <laughs> you get awful tired wiping windshields, and I heard about this new oil strike at Hurleyville, so I thought I'd come out west and be a real oil man. Chicopee Falls. Chicopee. Chicopee, you'll stick with me from now on. You'll see plenty of oil. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. It's a real boom, Johnny. The oil's gushing. But it can't last. Boys, I want you to meet Chickapee Niven. This is Gritz. Hiya, Chickapee. Hiya. This is Watch Bob. Hello, oh, Sonny. I don't believe a word he tells you. Hey, Johnny, you want to hear some bad news? And Mike Rollins was just here. Rollins? Ah, forget it, Johnny. He's gone over to Sunbeam. Someday I'm going to get that guy, but good. That's the rat I was telling you about that ran out on us, owing us a month's pay. My usual luck. We got us a job lined up, Johnny, and there's one waiting for you, too. Yeah. Oh, no, not for me. I'm through with that sucker stuff. Oh, boys, let's find a table. I'm through breaking my back for guys like Rollins. From now on, if there's going to be any drilling for oil, it's going to be my oil, and I'm going to be the boss. But, Johnny, that takes a lot of front and a little maneuvering. And front's what I got plenty of. Yeah, you ought to see his car. It's a block long. Johnny's foam ride. But I struck out for myself when I was his age. I might have settled down and had a family instead of being nothing but a broken down oil bum. Antrim Bend offers $25,000 for first commercial well. We know all about it. Hey, mister? Mm-mm. Hey, Pump. Ant was $25,000 prize. What's the matter? Hey, Anybody Pum. interested in hey, 25 Pum. grand around this joint? Ah, that's a joke. Antrim Bend, 20 miles from here. They're mad towards Hurleyville's booming on one side of them and Sunbeam on the other. That's why they're offering a prize. Ain't no oil out there. They sunk two dry holes last summer. But, Johnny, I thought you was healed. We ain't in one way to get the stake around here. Give me that nickel. Come on. Got just the pace for it. Sway. It's all for charity, folks. Give till it hurts. Come on, boys. It's all for charity. Thank you. Thank you very much, gentlemen. On you, sister. 
believe me, it'll come back to you tenfold. Thank you, thank you. Charity, charity. What's this for, buddy? Charity, brother. Sweet charity. Come on, think way down deep. And you, sister? Thank you for the kind thought. Come on, Chick, please. These kind people want to give, too. What's this for? Charity, brother. Sweet charity. Orphan, whether you ought to live. Dig way down deep, past the silver and into the paper. Come on. Miss, would you like to give? Get in there. Get in there. That's a boy. Thank Very you. Well. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure. It's mighty fine. Right this way, Chick. Right this way. Thank you very much. Come on, Sloan. Charity. Sweet charity. Yeah, for what? Charity. Little orphans, little bitches, bad orphans. No mother. Oh, Gus. No, no. Give. Don't be a pack rat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maverick. I thought it was a 20. Ah, oh, that's better. Thank you, Gus. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much, brother. Thank you. I congratulate you. You'll never regret. Charity, boys. Sweet charity. Take care, watch, Bob. Take care of things. We better get out of here while everybody's happy. Come on, Chickabee. Gee, well, men sure are charitable. Yeah, it's better than wiping windshields. <laughs> Wait a minute, bud. You don't think you're going to get away with this, do you? What's the matter, bud? Give me that hat. I got to make my donation to those poor little orphans. Thank you, my benevolent brother. Thank you. And goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, wait a minute. Who are these poor little orphans? Me and Chicken. We've been having a terrible time. Did you really expect anyone near a proven oil pool to give you a lease on promises? You can't get killed for trying. Well, maybe we could get those jobs the boys were talking about. I'm uh, not going to. I'm so punchy, I'm seeing things. Huh? I'd have sworn that match lit up like a little torch when it hit the water. What? Where? Right there. What? What is it, Johnny? Surface gas. Taste it. Tastes like mud. But if it's gas. Taste it. Tastes like oil. It's oil. Yeah, it must be seepage from up there. But this is some of that Antrim Ben land. They said it was no good. What are we going to do, Johnny? We're going to buy us a lease. But we haven't got that kind of money. We haven't got any money. Look, Chickabee, we found this together. We're partners. Sure, but... No matter what happens, keep your mouth shut. I'll do all the talking. Come on. Of course, I'm thinking of you, too, Mr. Smithers. We should happen to make a well on your property. You could buy the missus here a black silk dress every day, yourself some store shoes. Beautiful car like mine and send Junior to college. Don't want to go to college. My son, you want an education, don't you? Nope. Just want to be ignorant like Paul. Shut up, bud. Quite a boy you got here. <laughs> Maverick, I'll take $10 an acre and one-eighth royalty. Oh, that's impossible, Mr. Smithers. Might make it five. Let's see, that would be $3,000 for 600 acres. Hey, chicken, be careful. You'll break Mr. Smithers' uh, porch. Well, what do you say? Take it, Paul. It's a deal. It's a great deal. I just happen to have a blank lease here. You can fill in the figures. Uh, would you take a check? As long as there's money in the bank, son. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Chickapee, your pen, please. Johnny, you can't write a check. You haven't got any... Any ink in the pen? That's ridiculous. Of course it's ink. I make that out to uh, uh, John. John. And Martha. And Martha. Smithers. Smithers. Three thousand. There you are. Bless you. Well, thank you kindly. Jay, uh, if you fellas are going to town, do you mind I ride in with you so I can get the bank before it closes? Oh, sure. I'll win getting the boat. Gee, Mrs. Smithers, I. I hate to leave here without having some of that famous apple pie that I heard so much about in town. Son, I ain't made an apple pie in 20 years. Oh, well, I guess it's just watching you peel those apples that makes my mouth water. <laughs> Land sakes, if you was hungry, why didn't you say so? 
sit yourself down, I'll make you a pie. Ain't nobody going away from my house hungry. Just looking pie. Oh. Mm. My, my, my. Well, <laughs> can hardly wait to get at it. Help me there, will you? Smithers. Oh, it's delicious. My, 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 I, I swear, Mrs. Smithers, this is the finest pie I ever ate. I never tasted anything like it. Well, <laughs> guess we better be going. Uh, don't move, son. Hey. Well, Mr. Smithers, we're going to town. We better get started. There's no sense in my going now, son. It's most three o'clock. I'll see you at the bank in the morning. As you wish. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Smithers. Goodbye, Mr. Smithers. Goodbye, son. the check today, but how about tomorrow? We got the lease, didn't we? We could have left us when we're in jail. Shut up, I gotta think. Oh. Wait a minute, Johnny. Get out of here. I don't want to hear any more about it. Hey, you gotta listen to me. We're partners. Not anymore, we're not. Give me a beer and throw some ant powder on this guy. He's bothering me. Hey, Johnny, we're in this together now. I know my rights. Oh, get out. Hey, now listen, we found this together and we're going to keep it together. All right, you asked for it. What's the idea? You're all right. Take it easy, sir. Why don't you dump it, Colson? It's all right for me lending my money, but as soon as we find oil, he kicks me out. You found oil? Plenty of it, seepage. Out at Antrim Bend. Oil? You found oil at Antrim Bend? Yeah. He told me to keep it quiet till we got our lease. Then he throws me out because we haven't got a signed partnership. That's the rawest deal I ever heard. Yeah. Oh, Ben, bring this boy a drink. Now, you take it easy, son. I'll see what I can do about it. Now, uh, don't you worry about anything, kid. Excuse me. Oh, Maverick. Uh, oh, I, uh, I just heard about your good luck. Oh, so the guy couldn't keep his mouth shut, huh? Oh, now, don't let's get excited. Sorry, bud. How about letting me in and say for $5 an acre? I haven't got any leases for sale. Oh, come on, Johnny. Come on in and have a drink and we'll talk this way. I tell you, it's no you. Well, how about $6? $6, $6 an acre. For $60, Johnny. No, for Johnny. Listen. There he is. Hey, Johnny. Come on over here. Have a drink. So you scrapped oil. Where'd you find it? $7, Johnny. $7 an acre. I tell you, I'm not selling any part of it. Uh, hey, Maverick. I've been looking for you. We can't talk here. Give me five minutes in private. <laughs> There's the dirty little rat. Ah, oh, him. See you later. Uh, Maverick, let me in. Uh, don't let Sloan talk you out of anything. Son, when you've been dead as long as I have, you'll find there's nothing much worth getting worried about. Yeah, I suppose. Dead? Sure he's dead. Been dead for years. That's why we call him Watch Bob. But that doesn't make sense. He means this. The slug that killed me. Yeah, it happened a saloon fight in Bartlesville back in 96. As dead seven hours before the doctor pried this out of my heart. No thanks to him. I was even up there. You mean that you were actually dead? Well, you don't think I'd say so if I wasn't, do you? Or do you? Ben! Ben, bring me some pen out! Oh, wait a minute, Sloan. That, that was a paint Now, listen. Uh... So there I was, dressed out in a shiny new robe, when all of a sudden, down in Bartlesville, 
This horse doctor digs the bullet out of my heart and I have to go back pronto. That was too bad. Get a load of this. 7,000 bucks for half the lead. 7,000? You hold the bet. Enough to cover the check and buy a rig. Easy, wasn't it? Easy. Hey, Chris, watch, Bob. I'm cutting you in on this, too. Come on, everybody drinks on Johnny. Come on, Chris. Oh, Johnny, tell us what happened. Drink. Uh -huh. Drink. Yeah. Drink. Hey, wait. hey, wait a minute. Here's the Maverick number one. And the greatest little partner a guy ever had. Chickapee Niven. Johnny? Chickapee? On the hatch. Have another on the first million. Bring them up, boys. You bet the stove smokes. Go on, get in that cookhouse. Nice bunkhouse your bill is here, Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with my chickens. We make a well, you can put them up in an auto cart. Hey, Johnny, what's going on up there? Take a peek. Let's take a look at our competition. Pick up that brace, Tom. It won't bite you. What a crew you picked for me, Peters. Where'd you find them? They'll be all right, boy. They'll be all right, boss. Come on, heave it, you lug. Put some steam in it. Hello, Rollin. Say, what's the matter with you? What's going on here? So you sold your lease to him, huh? I still got an interest. What do you want to make trouble for? Trouble? That was no trouble. I'm just paying him off for what he owes me. Come on, Chickapee. Now, come on. Cut it out. Now, let him go. You two will get brawling, and nobody will make a well. Nobody will make a well. I promise your brother he won't make one ahead of me. Go on, get back to work. Come on, I, I want to talk to you. Well, come on. in at 7 o'clock in the morning. And from there on in, we'll be going 24 hours a day. And I want you back by midnight. Sure, we are. All right, boys, thank Come you on. a lot. Let's get going. Well, kid, does that make me a real arm, then? Relax and go on into Hurleyville and have some fun. Take my car. Thanks, I'll stop for our food supplies at Anthony Ben. Come on, Grips. That's quite a lot of letters to be lying around on Chaperone. A fella could grab it. Oh, there's a loaded Colt pointing at you, and we'd hate to make a hole in a... <laughs> great sense of humor. <laughs> this is a great country anyhow, Sam. You bet. My partner and me are going to bring in the first well and grab that, though. You don't say. Well, I'm not tired of looking at it, but i got to get over to Hurleyville and get our supplies. Hurleyville? Well, that's kind of fortunate. I'm headed for there myself. Well, come on. I'll give you a lift. Well, that's nice of you, son. Come on. Thanks very much. Hold on to this. I don't hope it won't be any trouble. No, never 
I'm a half partner. Johnny's got two old pals, Ritz and Watchfather. I see. He gave each one of them 5%. That's the kind of guy he is. That's fine. Get me gabbing my head off. You're probably in a hurry. That's the hotel right over there, Mr. Westbrook. Oh, thanks. This is a right prosperous looking little town. I'm going to like it. This man could probably do good business here. Oh, you interested in the oil business, too? Only in the byproduct. Well, thanks, Chickabee. And don't forget to look me up when you're in town. Well, sure I will. Where can I get hold of you? Well, if this is what I think it is, right in here. Got a corner table. So long, Chickabee. So long, Bruce. Thanks again. Good luck to supposed to be in on the noon train. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was on the noon train, but there was a little unpleasantness. What, again? Yeah, so I had to get off and continue the trip overland. And I've been sitting in this fire trap since 10 o'clock this morning. 10 o'clock, think of that. That's uh, 11 hours. So at $5 an hour, there's your share. <laughs> then the unpleasantness started. After I won, of course. Say, uh, I've been looking this town over. Mm -hmm. Not so bad, huh? Very, very good. That's what I thought. There's a joint across the street. Kelly's rig. I just cased it. And the lobby is... Full of oil, man. I know all about it. How's your hand? Mm. Still quicker than the eye. Now, listen. They put me in room uh, 107. You call me in the morning, will you? Late? Okay. Goes, Pop. Yes. You better get ready to take that money out of your bank window, Mr. Giles. Gladly. Just bring you well in first, Nevin. Keep her flowing a thousand barrels a day for a week, and the money's yours. It's a grand day, isn't it? Bring them somewhere. I was taking a rig over to Sunbeam, but I couldn't miss your spudding in for it. Glad you stopped by, Mr. Gamble. Okay, watch, Bob. Ready when you are. Oh, uh, the cable's hooked. I should have known better than to let you guys go out and get boiled last night. Hey, Chickapee, we got plenty of guys to do that. We got it. I'm halfway up already. Go ahead, Chickapee. He wants to be an oil man, doesn't he? But Johnny, he ain't ready for that yet. I'll let him alone. He'll be all right. Peters, come here. Take a look. Yeah, they've got a full day start of You and your crummy crew. It's a stupid place for Campbell to leave his truck. Yeah.
didn't deal with the brakes on. I swear I did. It was in gear, Johnny. I know it was. They're starting to fix the rig, Johnny. They can't do that. It's jinxed, I tell you. When a well kills a man, the oil runs away. It's jinxed, I tell you. You've got to move that way. Oh, shut up. Go on back to work. We're going to bring in that well if it kills every one of us. Get out of here. Go on, get out. Shouldn't have sent him up there in the first place. The whole thing's my fault. It weren't nobody's fault, Johnny. Too bad that doc from Bardo'sville weren't born to save him. Instead of... Instead of me. You know, and plenty of soda. All right. Uh, you sure you won't break down and have a little snort, a uh, <clears throat> little uh, refreshment? <laughs> no, thanks. I never touch it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Fred. What are they doing over there? Gambling? Yeah, poker. Oh. Jeff will watch them. You think they'd mind? Why, well, not a bit. Go on over. I'll join you myself as soon as I finish my uh, buttermilk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a card. <laughs> Cards, gentlemen. I'll take three. Hey, Fred. I'll take uh, one, gentlemen. Hello, Sloan. Oh, hello, Sloan. What's up, Ryan? Oh, come along fine. And if. Don't turn around and duck out the back way and I'll meet you at the hotel. Hey, Gus. Uh, what? How'd you do down the bed? Oh, okay, okay. We expect the well in there any time and... Uh... Oh, that's fine. I think I'll cash in, boys, if you don't mind. Here's $20 even, I believe. I have a little appointment. See you later, buddy. How are you? How are you? Come in. Come in. What happened? Did you see him? Who? Sloan, that pigeon we took for two grand in Tulsa last year. Remember the one that called for the cops? Did he recognize you? I don't know, but oh boy, if he did. Okay. Okay, Oliver, pack your shirt and your Mark deck and let's get going. Oh, why can't I make one big killing so I can go away someplace and settle down to something respectable? Like a nice little joint with a couple of wheels? Yeah. And your own dice? Yeah. Just enough to make an honest living. Hey, Oliver, get me that paper over there, will you? Hey, I knew this kid, Nevins. He drove me in the other night. Talked my ear off, telling me all about himself and his oil wells. Ma'am, I got a terrific idea. Fine. I'll put it in the bag and we'll eat it on the train. Oh, no, I'm not kidding. I've really got a great idea. And I know it. Now, we may have to lay low for a couple of days, but, baby, this time we've struck oil. Yeah. I bet you. This is it, ma'am. We've been a long walk from town. Thanks for the lift. Can I 
do anything else for you? No, thanks. All I know is we're two days behind Rawlins, and we've got to make it up. Come in. Hello. Hello. Where can I find Harold Nivens? Who? Oh, you mean... Uh... Are you Johnny Maverick? Yeah. Why, you're just like Harold described you. Where is he? I'm a sister. Why, well, uh... He isn't here. Oh, but he must be. He wrote me that you were partners, and he asked me to come out here. I'm sorry, Miss Nevins, but there's been an accident. Harold? Yeah. He fell from the rig last Sunday. Oh. I'm off the side. We haven't seen each other in years. Both working in different parts of the country. But when he wrote me, things were going so good, I, I thought maybe we'd be together. Did everything we could. Well, I'm sure that you did. I know it's a little late, but but if there's anything that Harold left unfinished or anything that he wanted me to know, I wish you'd tell me. You just see, I. And then someone could drive me back to town. I know it's none of my business, Miss Nevins, but have you any place to go or any money? Oh, I'll be all right. Oh no, you're going to stay right here. When that well comes in, you're going to get chickpeas. I mean, Harold's share. Well, that's the least I could do for him. No, no, Mr. Maverick. I couldn't possibly do a thing like I that. I don't want to hear any more about it. Hey, watch Bob and Grits. Take Miss Nevin's bag and put it in my room. Take my junk and put it down in the bunkhouse. Now, Miss Nevin's. The boss had his breakfast already? Yeah, he was up plenty early this morning. What, mush again? It looks like glue, and after you taste it, you wish it was. What do you guys expect, patty de foie grass? You know this job of mine's no party. You call this a full-size job of cooking grits? Cook shack I worked in at Big Boy was six blocks long. Yeah, they fed 1,200 drillers at one setting. 86 cooks worked to the grill the length of the shack, making 4,800 flannel cakes at a whack. Look, watch, Bob. Take it easy. You know, they couldn't mix that much better. Oh, they mixed her all right with a cement mixer. Laid the cakes onto the griddle with the pressure hose. Had to. Yeah, just a kid then. My job is to keep that six block long griddle green. Some job. Tucked weren't so bad. Just tied a side of bacon to each foot, got up on the griddle and skated from one end to the other. This mush ain't much good, Grits. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, boys. Morning, Johnny. Good morning, boss. Another cup of coffee? Yeah. Thanks. Well, we ought to catch up with Rollins today. Ah, sure. sure. This That's is the day. day. Say, boss, uh, Gritz has been telling us about Chickapee's sister. When are we going to have the pleasure? You'll be seeing her. A pretty nice little dish, eh, Johnny? Now, look, boys, I want you to get one thing straight. Mm -hmm. After all, she's Chickapee's sister, and she has every right in the world to be here. A girl or no girl, I want you guys to keep your minds on your jobs. Come on, Collie Ed. Let's go. Good morning, Miss Nevins. Got a place for you right here. Say, yeah. Miss, give me some more of that good mush. Yeah, me too. Say, why don't you sit her down over there near the fire? Yeah, the boss won't mind. Oh, the boss I don't want to be so much trouble. Oh, uh, Miss Nevins, would you like some orange juice? Oh, I'd love orange it. juice. Evan, Collie. Remember the morning shift, or are you boys taking the day off? Get out of here, get out! What's the matter? Did I do something? Oh, no, it's just that we're having a tough time putting down a well. Coming through. Yeah? And, well, the boys aren't used to having a woman around here, and... Pardon me. Well, I... I hope I'm not disrupting their work. Oh, don't let that worry you. They'll just have to get used to you, that's all. Hey, hey. Well, I hope it won't be too difficult. Huh? Oh, <laughs> no, that'd be all right. I, well, I kind of bit, excuse me, will you? Did you get the hard rock bit? 
Yeah. Did a lot of talking to convince him, though. Come on, hey. Hey, what's the matter with those guys? Hey, drop it. Hey! Who told you to slow that thing down? Well, you see, it was like this. I told him to slow her down, Johnny. Oh, you did, huh? Well, how many times do I have to drive it into your head that we have to go at full speed to keep ahead of Rolla? She won't take it. This rusty stuff you rented is all right for soft formation, but we're in hard rock. Now, I don't care what we're in. We've got to make faster time. Well, sometimes you go faster when you don't take a chance. Yeah, well, you go help Cully. From now on in, I'll give the orders around here. All right, shove her ahead full speed. What do you want? I've been sitting around the bunkhouse for a week doing nothing. I'm sorry I snapped at you, but every once in a while this thing gets me. I, I was just wondering if I couldn't do something to help. We're partners, you know. You can help Grits. Can you cook? Can Grits? No. Well, what have you got to lose? You're all right. How about that bit, Watch Farm? I'll take care of that later. Don't let him get you down, old timer. Who, Johnny? Oh, he ain't asking us to do nothing he wouldn't do himself. Is it really dangerous to drill that fast? With that old equipment, it ain't too safe. All right, Cully, let's go. Hey, Gritz, uh, you better get that coffee down to the boys and they'll start hollering. Well, it ain't me, it's a stove. I know, I know. Come on, get going. Oh, all right. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Hey, what's with the dishwashing routine? Are you batty? What are you doing around here? Well, I couldn't wait for the carrier pigeons. How are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah. This isn't a grapefruit, you know. You don't stick a spoon in the ground and outspirts oil. Oh, I know. All right, let him have the 25 grand prize. We'll grab our half and scram all of it. You know something? The smart money in this town is on that gilpin across the way. Yeah, well, don't lay too much on it. Johnny's 100 feet in the lead. Oh. Well, pardon me, lady, and, and thank you. I hope I ain't bothered you none. Who's this? Why, well, I'm the... Uh, oh, he's uh, just a tramp. Oh. He's looking for a job, but uh, I told him you didn't need anybody. This stuff's been cut. Hey, you, Oliver. made out of me. Look at my hands. I couldn't shuffle a stack of flapjacks now. That Maverick's a wild man. He... Johnny, the rotary's kicking. Hey. The hose gave cut the engine. Cut it. Are you all right? You are all right, aren't you? What's the matter with you? You Atta can't boy. kill a dead man. Just my hands are burning a little, that's all. Well, standing around looking, going up there and see what's happening. I'll take care of you. Well, I don't need no taking care of, but I'll go with you. That's what you want. All right, boys, back to work. Come on. Hey, boss. Maverick's in a tough spot. Yeah. Now you can pick up that 150 feet. It'll be a cinch if he has trouble casing off. 
How is he? His hands are pretty badly burned. I banished him, but he wouldn't let me do very much. Well, he was right, but I wouldn't listen to him. Is it that bad, Johnny? The hole caved in, lost our tools, busted the boiler, and brought in water. All right, fellas, we might as well eat. You know they're sinking a lot of new wells at Sunbeam? Yeah, there's a couple new wells over there at Hurleyville, too. Well, I could have told you this would have happened. A minute, Chickapee. And those big companies pay good dough. Yeah, and you don't take any chances of getting mashed up by third-rate equipment. Now, wait a minute, fellas. I wouldn't do anything rash. What are you, rats deserting a sinking ship? Well, we don't want to quit, but Johnny's finished. He's all wiped up. When he got the well and gave you jobs and promised you bonuses, he was a great guy. But the minute he needed you, you walk out on him. Well, what can he do now? He promoted the lease, didn't he? Well, he can promote the door to go ahead, maybe. And maybe you guys can help by pitching in and go down there and fix that boiler instead of sitting around here squawking. Well, how do you like that? I don't. But she's right. Come on, fellas, let's get out and get to work. That is a nice thing you did, miss, even if it don't do no good. Oh, they made me mad. That well means a lot to Johnny, doesn't it? More than you realize. It ain't just the money. Johnny's got all in his blood. Like me. Like his daddy had. I know that. Johnny's got the same dream as every wildcatter. To bring in a well. He could start another one, couldn't he? Well, maybe and maybe not. But if he don't, You'll drift on till it gets like wind. Just a busted down oil train. Not much use except for telling stories nobody believes. Sorry, miss. Here I am a pawing around like an old pro when I ought to be out there telling them fellas what to do. Serves me right. Trying to run a flashy front end of a million bucks. You can fix the engine, can't you? Maybe. If we're in water sand, it's hundreds of feet before we get through it. That means we have to run case, and casing costs money. Money's what we haven't got. So I might as well go up and let the boys go. Oh, you sure had chickabee fools. What do you mean? Well, he used to write me what a terrific guy you were. If you ever started something, nothing could stop you. Well, what do you expect me to do? Well, you didn't have anything to start with. You got a lease and a rig, didn't you? That's right, we did. You know, Chickpea didn't think I could do it. I think you can. Thanks. Now I know why Chickpea was such a swell guy. Now, Johnny, before you say anything... What am I thinking about? You're my partner and I'm letting you down. Well, now you're talking like Johnny Maverick. Come on, we're going to town to do a little promoting. I'll be ready in a minute. Okay, I'll get the car. Oh. Oh, hello, Nan. I took the liberty of packing your bag. Now, let's blow, will you? So you couldn't stay for the last card, eh, Oliver? Not after the torch song you gave that crew in there. Hey, you fallen for that, Gilpin. Hook, line, and sink. Now, wait a minute, Oliver. You had a great idea. We were going to grab off half of that 25 grand and get out of the small time. Right. Well, I'm just trying to protect our hand, that's all. I'm betting that if Johnny can promote some dough and grab off that prize, we can cash in. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, will you? Where is he going to get any dough? From you. From me? Sure, you can get in some sort of a game. <laughs> the way I'm healed, I couldn't even get into a game of pitching pennies. You know that. How about the ring? Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. The only time I hop that emerald is for the last ditch. Well, this is it. 
Oh, I see. Well, suppose I do. Suppose I get in a game and Sloan comes in and recognizes me. Are you going to risk my neck to save his? Don't answer. To save our party, Oliver. <laughs> I can't quite figure it, baby. My idea was to take him. Now I got a funny feeling that uh, I'm being took. For 500, you can have all you need. But I've got to have cash. We haven't got 500 bucks. Just give us the stuff and you'll get your dough. I'm terribly sorry, Maverick, but it's got to be cash. Maybe you could borrow it. Come on, Johnny. We'll be back in the morning, Mr. Campbell. Well, we wind up with 70 bucks. Have every guy in town I know. Oh, forget it. Hey, there's Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Oh, hello. Hello, oh, Oliver. Don't get up, boys. Don't get up. Well, if it isn't bad luck himself, deal me out. Maybe you'd like to take over Maverick. You might be luckier at cards. No, thanks. There was nothing more I could do at the well, boss. Why don't you sit down and take your mind off your troubles? You might get lucky. $70 won't help much. Why don't you go and try your luck? What you got there? $52. bucks. will not take it. I wouldn't lend him anything, boys. His well's washed up. Nice <laughs> disposition. Five and a half to ten. That's good. I know. It's good enough for me. Three babes. That's good. All right, Johnny, I'll call you. I'm out. Good enough for me. Ace is full. That certainly beats three queens. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Any part of it, man. I'll see a hundred. I'm through. I never saw such hands. How about you, Oliver? Well, Johnny, I'll call you for 200. That's the last of my stack. King's full. Well, I've got four. Well, I'd have sworn I had four eights there. But I haven't. There's three eights and a pair of deuces. <laughs> Nanny, you're the luckiest partner a fellow ever had. You're still here. Look, I got the money. Now get the casing out right away, will you? I'm sorry, Maverick. What do you mean you're sorry? I'm sold out. I haven't got any casing. What? Look, Rollins came in just after you left and bought every foot I had. Why, you chiseling little rat. Johnny, Didn't Johnny. Didn't I tell you I'd have the dough? How did I know you could raise it? I had a chance to sell for cash. Not his fault. All right, so Rollins beat me to the punch. But look, Campbell, I've got to have casing. There's no more in town, Johnny. Maybe I could get some from Tulsa. Huh? But it'll cost you heavy, all in and all. How much? About nine fifty, but I'll figure it out for you. Look, Campbell. I got five hundred and fifty dollars in cash. I'll give you a note for the rest. No, wait, man. Now you wait a minute. That well's coming in. The structure's perfect. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. I'll give you a lien on the well for the balance. Well, you can get more than that for it and salvage. What do you say? All right. I'm crazy, but. I won't wait more than 30 days for my money. All right, it's a deal. Write it up. Can you make the well in 30 days? It's not a question of can we. We got it.
I'll be doggone. If you're right, Johnny, then Hurleyville and Sunbeam are at opposite ends of one big pool. Yeah, and that's us smack dab in the middle. But they're 40 miles apart. They're exactly the same structure. Look, there's a Sunbeam map. There's a Hurleyville, and that's us in the middle. There's limestone, shale, sandstone, hard rock, water sand. That's where we lost our tools. Slate, shale, and gas sand. Then in another couple of hundred feet, we'd ought to be in oil sand. Yep, and you can bet your bottom dollar we'll beat Rollins in, too. An oil pool 40 miles long and us in the middle. And I can't tell nobody they'd think it's a making up a big lie. <laughs> Come on, honey. Why don't you put on your best bib and tucker and let me take you out and buy you a dinner like an oil millionaire ought to buy his best gal. Sure. Uh, you got any dough? A little. I'll treat. Okay. Boy, are we gonna be Congratulations, Johnny. I hear you in the pay dirt. Congratulations, fella. Thanks, Joe. You know the first thing I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get you a fur coat with fuzz out to there. No, no, for silly. You haven't got money like that. It isn't silly. I got a lot of ideas about you and me. Hey, Oliver. Hello, Oliver. How'd you get here? Well, I got a ride with old man Smithers. Say, watch Bob tells me he needs some berry. Oh, we can get him later. Sit down and have some champagne. Oh, hey, bring another glass, will you, waiter? I'll let him have a drink. Oh, boy, wait a minute. I'll give you my glass. Well, watch Bob thinks this is an antiseptic. <laughs> watch Bob hasn't been right in 20 years. <laughs> Now I'll leave the bottle. Okay. What's this about Maverick's web? It looks like he's gonna beat us in. You said he could. Now just keep your shirt on. Let me try to explain. Hmm. That's it. What's wrong with you, Sloan? I know I'd seen that face always before. What face? That guy with Maverick. He's a cook that took me in Tulsa. The girl with him introduced me to him. What? That girl's a sister he's partner, the kid that was killed. Sister, my eye. They're just pulling another fast one. I better tip off Maverick. Wait a minute. They won't get him for much. Come on, I want to talk to you. Johnny? Have another little touch of bubbles? Sure, if it was gold, I'd still give it to you. That's the boy. What a hump. Hey, wait a... I'll get it myself. All right, my boy. I don't mind taking a sucker's money, but you didn't have to do this to me. I don't like it any more than you do. Then why did you let it get this far? He's going to ask you to marry him. I know it. The worst part of it is I want him to. Oh. Gee, I'm sorry to mess up that beautiful idea of yours, but... Oh, don't worry about me, honey. You're the one that's in a tough spot. Are you going to tell him? Yep. As soon as I get a chance. Gee, I wish I could stack the deck for you, kid. Thanks, Oliver. Here we are. Good night, boss. Thanks for the party. Good night. Good night, night. man. Boy, what a night. I feel like I could reach up there and get you a whole handful of stars. I want to talk to you. Nobody I'd rather talk to. But this is important. Yeah, but I got to get a drink of water first, huh? Boy, that champagne makes you thirsty. Got it. Huh? Kept me waiting kind of late. What are you doing here? A little note you gave Campbell. Where'd you get it? Bought it. Campbell's a businessman, Maverick. It's due today. There's an extension on that note. If we bring that well in, we can pay it out of the Antrim Bend prize money. Can you bring it in by midnight? Of course not. Just a minute, Mr. Rollins. I'm a partner in that well, and I haven't signed that note. Now listen, sweetheart, don't go pulling that partner stuff. You and your pal Westbrook may be able to hook this sucker, but not me. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Why, she's no more Chickabee's sister than she's mine. Go on, sweetheart. Tell him how you trimmed Sloan last year. You're a liar. Johnny, he's right. Right? I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying to tell you all evening. You mean to say that you've been framing me? Well, at first, but, but not after I got to know you, Johnny. Honest, you've got to give me a chance to explain. You've just got to. Get out of here. But, Johnny! Get out of here! Watch Bob. Grips! Watch Bob. Johnny? 
Get that girl out of here in Westbrook, too. You mean Miss Nevin? Yeah. Take them to town and drop them. What's the matter, boss? Rollins has her well. What? Get a tin of nitro and put it down the hole. Nitro? That'll draw a wide open. It'll ruin her. Sure it will. Do you want him to have it? Not my share. Go on. Get out of here. Watch for him. Get him out of here. Yes, Johnny. You're crazy. What are you trying to pull? <laughs> said the bus is held up by washout. Well, I guess better be getting back. So long, watch, Bob. Maybe we'll bump into each other again. Yeah, well, I've known a lot of people in my time, and I take people as a fine. As far as I'm concerned, you're all right. Thanks, watch, Bob. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, watch, Bob. You seen Johnny? You seen Johnny, have you? What's the matter? The well's on fire. I gotta find Johnny. On fire? Yeah, Johnny got mad and made me blow her up. Instead, she come gushing in. Then Johnny beat it for town, and now he's on fire. I told him that well was jinxed. I told him. Shut up, Grits. Where was Johnny headed? Search me. I already been to Kelly's. He ain't there. Well, you jackass, if you brought in a gusher, you must have come for capping equipment. Campbell's. Come on. I'll check these bags and meet you there. So you sold me out, you dirty little skin flint. It wasn't like that, Maverick. I'm in business to make money. I know that Rollins was trying to outsmart me, and everybody was trying to take me. But what did it get him? Nothing. But I got me a well, a gusher. Look here, Campbell. I'm gonna take that Antrim Ben prize money and I'm gonna pay you off so fast it'll make your head swim. Sure, Johnny. I'm awful glad you brought her in. Shut up with that soft soap and get that hardware out there. I'm losing oil every minute. Every minute of that Johnny, the well's on fire. Yeah, sure, sure. I'll see you later. Johnny, it's true. You got to get out there and put it out, Johnny. While it's burning, Rollins can bring in his well and beat you to the prize. What happened? The boys went to bed and left me watching. Somebody socked me on the head, and when I come to, she was a-blazing. Rollins. So you won't be needing my stuff now. You bet I will. Get that stuff out of there. I'll put the fire out. Johnny, Johnny, what are you looking for? Johnny. Rollins. Where are you going with that? Johnny! Johnny!
Corona virus ada segera. Kill that fire, it'll kill me. Where's your crane? You can't use the crane in that fire. What do you expect to do? If I can put the cap over the hole, I can smother it, can't I? That'll never work. You bring that crane up or I will. Hey, Cully, Ed, yeah, watch Bob. Get that crane in there.
about it. We'll be all right. All right, get back, everybody. Well, good luck, Johnny. Hope it's a million barrel well. But, Johnny, it isn't any use. I guarantee you this one's jinxed. There won't be any oil. But it won't work. 